the structure and function of the cytoskeleton. The cytoskeleton is composed of three major elements that form the filamentous structures which anchor the cell to the extracellular matrix. These include microtubules, microfilaments and intermediate filaments. The functions of the cytoskeleton include movement of materials in the cell, cell structure, cell movement, cell replication and organelle positioning. Microtubules are tubular structures found in the mitotic spindle of dividing cells, cilia and flagella. Alpha and beta tubulin join to form heterodimers which build up into protofilaments. Thirteen protofilaments align parallel along the tubule using non-covalent interactions. Protofilaments show polarity. At the positive end there is rapid growth and at the negative end there is slow growth. The outer diameter of microtubulin is 24 nanometers and the walls are approximately 5 nanometers thick. The style of microtubule formation enables rapid assembly and disassembly, which is important to movement within the cell. Motor proteins move cell cargo along microtubules. Kinesin has two light and two heavy chains, which are wrapped around each other. The globular head of the heavy chain binds ATP for motility, and the tail binds to cargo. Kinesin moves along a single protofilament to the positive end, at a rate proportional to the concentration of ATP in the cell. Dynenes are motor proteins with two or three heavy chains with globular heads for motility and many light chains. Dynein moves its cargo towards the negative end of the microtubule, usually towards the centre of the cell. Intermediate filaments are heterogeneous. There are 70 genes coding for different intermediate filament monomers in the human genome. Two monomers wrap around each other to form a rope-like dimer. Two dimers associate in an anti-parallel staggered arrangement to form a tetramer. Intermediate filaments are not polarised because of this. Eight tetramers associate lengthways to form one unit length of filament approximately 60 nanometers long, while these unit lengths associate end-to-end -to, -end to form elongated filaments. Individual tetramer units can move into and out of the filament structure. Intermediate filaments are used for mechanical strength and have only been observed in animal cells. They extend throughout the cell from desmosomes and hemidesmosomes spanning the cell surface membrane. Connections to other cytoskeletal elements and the nucleus are made by cross-bridge proteins, most notably plectin. Microfilaments consist of the globular G-actin monomers and assemble into F-actin polymers in increasing ionic concentrations. The process also hydrolyzes ATP. Assembly begins with dimers and trimers forming into fibrous proteins with the chain elongating quicker at the positive end. Actin dissociates less readily when bound to ATP. Filaments can be broken down by cofilin binding to actin filaments. Profilin reverses cofilin action with the use of ATP. ARP2 or ARP3 proteins provide a nucleation site for a new filament to form. Actin filaments can form many different shapes to form bundles and networks. Bundles arranged in parallel support projections like microvilli. With the addition of the proteins integrin, tarlin, vinculin and alpha-actinin connecting the filaments. Muscle contractility. The structure of a muscle fibre. Muscle fibres are made up of myofibrils. The fibres group together to form muscle bundles, which can be used to make up body muscles.
individual sarcomeres contain actin and myosin fibres. Sarcomere units contain Z lines and an H zone in the middle. The H zone and I bands are at maximum when the muscle is relaxed. The A band remains unchanged during muscle activity. Actin and myosin interactions cause the sarcomeres to contract. The myosin head binds to the actin filament, forming a cross bridge. ATP hydrolysis provides the energy for the power stroke. Non-muscle motility, actin binding proteins. The organisation and behaviour of actin filaments are determined by actin binding proteins that affect the assembly and disassembly of the filaments. Actin binding proteins can be divided into several categories based on their presumed function in the cell starting from nucleation of the monomers to the formation of crosslinks and eventually the adhesion of the membrane. These proteins affect the assembly of actin filaments, their physical properties and their interactions with one another and with other cellular organelles. Cell crawling. Cell crawling is an example of non-muscle motility. A lamellipodium extends from the cell, providing temporary anchorage to an extracellular surface. The lamellipodium is created by actin filament protrusions. Thank you for watching a sweet production for BI2202 Advanced Cell and Immunobiology.